The Electrical Resistance Test Tutorial by Nye Lubricants The purpose of this test is to prove that an electrical connector grease has no effect on contact resistance. This test is conducted by passing a 1 amp current through an electrical connector. When the voltage is measured between the two connectors, the voltage drop is equal to the contact resistance. In this kit, you will find all the parts you need to complete an electrical resistance test. Two male connectors, two female connectors, a multimeter, a power unit, the terminals, a connector holder, a screwdriver, and lastly, the sample pack of NioGel 760G. Before starting, note that the power may be turned on and off with the switch that is built into the unit. During each test setup, the power should be switched off until test is ready to begin. Start by taking one of the female connectors and clip it into the blue holder at the top of the case. Then, using your screwdriver, loosen the connection points on the terminal block. Take one male connector with long wire leads and connect it to the terminal block as shown. Next, plug the unit into the wall with the included wall adapter. Now that you have mated the two dry connectors, turn on the digital multimeter by setting the range to 200 millivolts DC. Using your multimeter, measure the contact resistance across different pairs of pins on the connector and record the values. Keep in mind that while the multimeter is measuring voltage, the contact resistance is equal to the voltage due to the 1 amp current through the circuit. Now that your resistance values have been noted, turn off the power and remove the used connectors. To compare, we will repeat this process using lubricated connectors. Using the NioGel 760G included with this kit, lubricate a new set of male and female connectors with grease. Take your female connector and clip it into the blue holder and loosen the connection points on the terminal block. Remember to take one male connector with long wire leads and connect it to the terminal block. Plug your power unit into the wall. Now that your lubricated connectors are mated, turn on your digital multimeter with the range set again to 200 millivolts DC. After measuring the contact resistance, you should notice that the resistance measurements are equivalent to those seen with the unlubricated connectors. This proves that connector lubricants have no effect on contact resistance.